Cárdenas aggressively pursues agrarian reform. He structures the process so that both the peasantry and the country as a whole will prosper. 50 million acres of land are returned to the peasants. Labor reforms are initiated that improve conditions in the mines and factories and give the workers power they never had. Next, Cárdenas turns his attention to the issue of oil. The petroleum workers come together and they form a powerful national industrial union. They put forward a demand for a new ambitious labor contract, which the private companies absolutely refuse to take seriously. They claim they can't afford uh, to meet any of the demands of the petroleum workers. Well, if we do that, we might just as well go out of business. Most American and British oil company executives assume that a compromise deal will be reached between the foreign oil companies and the Mexican government. But they fundamentally miscalculate. They miscalculate the determination of President Cardenas, and a decision is made to expropriate the oil industry, which really sets the cat amongst the pigeons. The oil companies thought that he would not dare to do so, for several reasons. The United States would probably take strong reprisals against Mexico. After all, nationalizing oil, a strategic resource, was a tremendous challenge to the United States. Secondly, it was a precedent for the rest of Latin America. Es decir, tenía una visión, una integridad personal, una valentía, porque cuando se enfrenta a Estados Unidos no sabe muy bien qué va a pasar. La expropiación petrolera no es simplemente de justicia, es de soberanía nacional. Because the oil companies refuse to accept Cárdenas' terms, the Mexican government takes over ownership of the oil fields and pays off the oil companies. In the wake of the Great Depression, Cárdenas has saddled Mexico with more debt, but the Mexicans don't seem to mind and pitch in to help the government. The news of the oil expropriation was greeted with jubilation by quite a large body of, of people. And in villages and in towns and in Mexico City, workers and citizens wanted to demonstrate their commitment and support to the government by ransacking the jewel boxes and ransacking the treasures to bring jewelry for donation to the state. It demonstrates how strongly the themes of economic nationalism and political pride had become by the late 1930s. Despite the hostility aroused abroad by his wholesale expropriation, Lazaro Cardenas remains the man of his people, determined to make Mexico the first completely socialized nation in the Western world, a Mexico belonging only to Mexicans.